hell, it, uh, I, I forget what was the date on the Ash Wednesday storm, the 61 or 62, something like that. That's when the, the storm washed uh, an inlet, one of many, uh, between Canadian Hole and uh, the north end of Buxton washed out, like all the rest. It was very much of an inconvenience. Inconvenience then as to now would be a great big difference. Back in those days, it uh, we had naturally the power, mail, telephone service. That was about it. There wasn't that much coming down the beach at the time, but the road had washed out, so it, it was uh, a major inconvenience to, to the people on this end of the washout. Coast Guard, working out of the Buxton Station, which is now Park Service Headquarters for, for the island. Uh, we had a beach cart there, the old time beach cart that they used to use when uh, sailing vessels or whatever vessels were come ashore. That employed the Lyle gun where they would fire a line out to the, to the vessel and by means of attaching lines and a breeches buoy that bring bring people ashore save lives but well, we had one at the at the station at which we did drill with everybody was fairly proficient so they had the idea the phone system was out we had the idea let's fire a line across there and by pulling back and forth we'd get the telephone line across the inlet and and at least get communications established sound like a good idea so the people from Oregon Inlet Station come down to the north, uh, to the north end of the of the inlet, which is around. I said Canadian Hole is around the hall over at that time is now called Canadian Hole. But uh, we were on the south side. We had the beach cart, so we set it up to fire the line across to, so they can pull the telephone wire. Well. These Lyle guns were capable of firing a 16-pound weight a fairly good distance, depending on how much black powder was put into the into the Lyle gun itself. It come in uh, two-ounce packages of uh, rough powder, black powder, and you would uh, put a package of this down the barrel and then put the weight in there, attach a line, and, and fire it, depending on how far the distance was and how many packs of gunpowder you'd put in there. Well, the group commander, more or less in charge of the entire operation, we set the Lyle gun up and he figured by eye how far it was across there and he figured that it would probably take two packages of powder to get the, get the uh, weight across the inlet. And he walked off talking to somebody about what was going on and the chief that was at the station at the time, he also looked at the distance and figured, well, probably probably two packages of powder would do it, not knowing that group commander had already put two, two packages in there. The group commander come back after the chief had done that and said, well, I, it is a little bit further than I thought. Maybe I, I should maybe put another pack in there. Well, now there's five, five packages of black powder in there. They had walkie-talkies told the, the north end, said, okay, we're fixing the fire. Uh, Y'all take cover and, and uh, let us know, let us know where, uh, where the weight goes. So we, uh, we lit that thing off <laughs> and they called on the, on the walkie talkie said, well, do you see it? They said, yes, we do. Said the last time we saw it, it was skipping across the off bar way out in the ocean said there was a little bit too much power behind it and she was gone. So they re redid everything and, and we, we the next shot was a little not quite as powerful. Got the line across and uh, eventually got the telephone line across. The uh, the inlet itself was very powerful. It was it was a lot of tide running through there. I remember they they got all the old wrecked cars on this end of the island from Buxton and Hatters and they were going to try and fill the inlet up, and they, they would take them up there with the wreckers and, and, and put them in the inlet, and they would just disappear. There was so much tide going through there. Eventually, it did it did fill up, but uh, it was uh, one of the times on the island that uh, the local people, well, you know, this is just 
one more thing in living out here. It's, uh, it happens. We, we handle it, and everything was uh, go back to normal. And that was uh, that was the Lyle gun firing across there for establish a telephone line. It uh, it worked. That no, Lyle gun. That uh, the beach cart was 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 very saved a lot of lives back uh, earlier days.